This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, this is Alex, and this is The Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight. Hello there. Hello. How are you, Alex? This, this is uh, Albert Reynoso, who for years, and I could say for years, because it was about nine years, right? Over nine years, was, close to ten. Was the best producer I ever had for my radio. And don't program. you forget it. And I'm not going to forget it. <laughs> And when I knew him, he didn't look like uh, one of the guys on the uh, cop drop boxes. No, Smith Brothers. Yeah, no. you look like one of the Smith, or both of them, actually. They both had beards, didn't they? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess. Yeah, I guess, yeah. And uh, he's, uh, he's uh, in fact, his beard is so big now, it even goes below the camera frame. How long yes. did it take you to grow it that long? I did not uh, cut my hair, I think, since February. Since February. But I, 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 obviously, I had the hair cut February recently. of this year? Yeah. Of this of, year, yeah. Of last year, you mean? Yeah. Uh, right, of 22, yes. Okay, right. so it's almost, that's oh, almost, not February, that's yeah. almost a year's growth. Have you, have you cut it at all? You probably trimmed it. I trim it a little bit when it starts to get a little unruly here. But See, I'm letting mine grow, uh, although it, it doesn't seem to grow as fast as yours, but you may notice it's it's longer. Yes, uh, I was looking at you and noticing how clean cut your head is. Well, that's that because makes, and, uh, my like wife cut my like, hair yesterday. Well, she did a great job because it's got a it's got a real good, uh, I guess, bald quality to it. It's, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah, nicely I done. Hair on the side here, the station promo. That is yeah, no, it looks good like that. It's very good, and the, and the beard is nicely trimmed, and it, it looks like maybe you've lost uh, uh, some weight there. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't lost weight. No, no, no. no. Your, I wish your, I had. Your face looks a little a little thinner for some reason. I, I don't know. I mean, I lost a lot of weight, if you remember, and then I gained it back about 30 pounds. Yes, that's what happened. I gained back about 25, 30 pounds. No, that's not what happens. Oh. What happened was I had my prostate operation. Oh, okay. And that caused a whole bunch of hormonal changes and so on and so forth. So, you know. Well, generally, people who lose a, a good amount of weight, 20 pounds or so, they'll gain it back. Yeah. Regardless, but whether they have prostate I, problems. I think or. I would have not gained it back. I think I was very careful to stay on my diet, you know. Yeah, I know. You had the gluten free bread or whatever. No, no, no I did. I did. Uh, yeah, whatever. So. <laughs> What else is going on well, in the world of Well, what we got, we got good news today. Oh, did you? As you know, we've had this apartment in limbo for, what, nine years, ten years? Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. One court case, court case, court case, court case, court case. Then, finally, the judge makes a judgment, and it's a very good one, okay? According to you. The other side, well, I guess. The other side didn't like think it. so, so they no. went to the appeals court. Uh huh. We got the ruling from the appeals court today. He let the other judge's uh, determination stand. Oh, good. And and is that determination very good for you? I now, and I can say this, I think, openly now, because there's nothing they can do about it. Okay. Um, I'm. Uh, we're paying. Nine five hundred dollars a month rent. Oh my God. That's just criminal. I mean, that's great for you. That's that's. I mean, that's, it costs us, it costs us a hundred thousand dollars to get that, you yeah, know. Well. But uh, nevertheless, five hundred dollars a month. Yeah, you know, that's this, great. This is, I think, there was a guy I was watching YouTube, and there's a guy who does uh, uh, shows apartments and so on. He says, "Let me show you." the most inexpensive apartment in New York. And it was like $615 or something. Uh oh, you got him beat. And I was gonna write him or get a hold of him and say, hey, I got you, because what it was was this tiny little apartment where you had to go outside to change your mind. 
You know, mm. I mean, it was that that bad. Okay, uh, but I would love to say to him, "Would you believe I have twenty five hundred square feet?" Wow. For five hundred dollars a month, and that's the way it stands. Boom. Well, I'm going to find out. I have a friend who lives in Queens who has a two-bedroom apartment. He's he's he grew up there, and he still lives there. And his mother's there. He's taking care of his mother, yeah. and I think he pays about the same five six hundred dollars. Well, for it's, this. it's probably a rent uh, stabilized, uh, rent controlled, rent controlled apartment. Rent controlled, yes, and it those is. Rent controlled apartments, even in this building, uh, are somewhere around thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Um, you know, I mean, the, 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 the landlord is hoping we'll die. Okay. That's the only way yeah. he's going to get out of this. And even if we, I moved to California, I would keep this apartment. But don't you, don't you have to, under those rules, don't you have to make that your primary residence? No. No. I okay. Well, then move to California. I can have as many you're not moving to California. I think I can have as many residences as I want as long as I'm not subletting this apartment. Okay. Uh, well, unless you get the approval. Well, I do, but uh, you know, unless, unless I were to sublet this apartment, yeah. which I would never do, at five hundred mm -hmm. a month, it's like you know, chicken change. That's right. right? Yeah. You Why know? sublet it? I mean, you know, Marjorie usually goes half halfsies with me on everything, like the rent and the electricity and so on. And I just said, don't bother. I'll just pay the five hundred a month. You know. Yeah. Because okay. it's, it's really, you know. Which, uh, it's just, a great deal. Congratulations. Yeah, well, uh, you know, it's it's good. So what's happening with you down in Florida, my friend? Big, big things. I have a very big decision coming up today. Um, later this, uh, this evening, I have to figure out whether I am going to uh, have a pizza or I'm going to have Chinese food. Mm -hmm. or I'm going to have the leftover pork medallions I had two days ago. So mm. tough, tough stuff that I have to I decide. would go, I, uh, I'm not a big fan of pizza. Okay. Oh, but I am. Yeah, but you are, okay. Yeah. How, how, much, how big a fan of pizza? I mean. A, a big fan. And you know, I, I live in a and, place and where they don't have the New York Since we're talking about pizza. a major decision here, what kind of pizza would you order? Well, it would be a regular uh, New York style pizza, you know, eight slices. Yeah, but circle, what are the top, what toppings? Uh, probably just sausage, I think. Yeah, see, that would mean I'm pretty it, much a purist. My, my choice, if I went out and got pizza, would be a sausage, yeah, mushroom, and onion. Okay, mm -hmm. that's oh, that's good too. Yeah, okay, yeah. I might do that. Yes, if possible, but, but it's, so, it's still up in the air. It's these questions can't be answered immediately. Well, I mean, you know, you got to do it because uh, six o'clock is getting here fast. Or maybe, I know, maybe, I know. wait a minute, you're in Florida. Four o'clock is getting here fast. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, I don't do that yet. I don't eat early yet. Really? Yeah. It, with us, it's gotten earlier and earlier and earlier. Now it's 530. But you got a couple of years on me, so I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah, you know, we eat something. at 530. All right. Isn't that Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So, you know, we're... we're so that's we're, the scope of my life. Really... That's the whole scope? That's pretty much it. I don't really uh, concern myself with a lot of things. There's not... You know, I pay my bills. That's about it. Uh, I, um, you're not working, right? Oh, no. No, no. Is, is no I've wife, done that Is your already. wife working? Yes, yeah, she is. What's she doing? She works at Walmart. Oh, at Walmart. Is she a greeter yeah. or is she an actual person who works there? No, no, there are no greeters at Walmart. That's a, that's a that's a phony thing. I've never seen a greeter at any Walmart I've been to. Really? She 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 picks uh she picks people's groceries. She's she's always moving. That's why she that's why she likes that job and she kept the job cuz you know she's a little little thing who exercises. Well, she all likes the time. to run. She when she yeah, when she's you come moving stay around, here, constantly. she walks all eight flights down yeah, and all eight exactly. flights up insanity but she she loves it because she's always moving so yeah. you know she if she were a cashier there she wouldn't she wouldn't have stayed more than two days if i remember correctly you take the elevator uh most of the time yeah yeah why not it's there yeah, yeah. So, i go downstairs i'll i'll walk but not up that, that's yeah no good. yeah so anyway so uh, uh uh you're not working how do you feel about not working <laughs> i think it's great why why would i want to work well, I, I mean, it keeps you vital. 
No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, I have more time now to read things, to look online and uh, research things that I have interests in, to read books, to watch movies and documentaries that, that I'm interested in, mm-hmm. uh, and to even go anywhere that I want to go than I've ever had before. So why would I want to work for what reason? Just to make money? Well, I've people, people say to me, Alex, money. why do you do this show every night or three nights a week? Okay, yeah. And I do one on Monday, that thing on Monday. Right. And my answer to them is it keeps me vital. You know, it keeps me alive. If I didn't do that, then I just waste away. You know. But why? If that's all you have, then that then that's that keeps you vital. But I, you know, I don't, I don't. There's there's really nothing, one thing that I must do that I have to do. You know, when I if I yeah. want to sketch something, if I want to write some music, I have the time to do that stuff. Yeah, I know you have the time. Yeah, but the, you're keeping yourself busy, right? In other words, you're, you're, most part, you're, yeah. You're, well, people people argue that that point. They think that because I'm in the house most of the time, that I'm just you know sitting there mm. uh, watching uh, the Price is Right, and that's not the case. When I'm watching something, I'm watching something that I'm interested in. Uh, new movies, a documentary I haven't seen, something old, an old television series for some reason that I wanted to see it. You know, mm-hmm. you know. Well, you're or, I'm, I'm, or they say, or you're on the computer all the time. Yes, because I'm, I'm, I get stuck in the vortex of Wikipedia and researching things and finding out more information about things that I, I don't usually have time when I was working. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I'm saying is, is that that uh, uh, you you do make sure that you have something to do. Right. Oh, yeah. There's always something to do. There's there's no time where I'm just sitting around doing nothing. I mean, if there's no if there's nothing to do, I I, I just don't that concept doesn't enter my mind. Yeah. Yeah. There's always yeah. something to do. And, and you know, people don't do things that they used to do, which I still do. I still listen to music on my stereo because I have a great sounding uh, stereo system. And in fact, it's a five point one surround. Play vinyl. And I still listen to music. Uh, often, very often, I'll put on an album, I'll track through the whole album. People don't do that anymore, but I, I enjoy it, and it, 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 it's something you know, that you know, it, you takes know, my you time. Know what young people would refer to you as. An I don't old, care. An old fart. <laughs> Call me an old fart, but, but you know what? You'll get there, too. What do you so, mean? I'm there. No, I'm talking about the, oh. the young people. I'm talking about the young people. They'll I'm get finding there. myself, my, the main phrase in my life is, when I was a boy, you know. No, I don't say that. It, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Have, well, I'm a, Relative I, to the well, life. I mean, uh, my friend Shecky is always saying to me, I hate this. This is terrible, what's happening here with this and that and so on. And I'm going, yeah, you know why? Because we're getting older. The younger people don't give a crap. They got their own set of uh, things that one day, when they get to be our age, they'll go, when I was a boy... Yeah, yeah, exactly. We didn't have holograms. Yeah. We looked at things on our screen. It's the little screen. That's when I was a boy, best. when I was a boy, we had a government. <laughs> you know? yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, as I as I've said before, I, everybody uh, moaning about the 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 possible loss of democracy in America. It's bound to happen. Because it happens in your lifetime, don't don't feel bad about it. It's it's bound to happen. There is no democracy that there's exists. No, well, there's no there's no country that it exists that hasn't had massive changes over the centuries. You know. Well, that's true, but yeah. there is also not one democracy that exists now that was around when this country started, when this democracy started. So don't think that democracy is a long lasting thing for this to have lasted 250 years is a pretty long time for a democracy. Is, is but demo- humanity doesn't allow that kind of thing. Is democracy highly overrated? Difficult to tell. It hasn't lasted that long enough that I, that I think. Because no. I mean, when you talk about a democracy, yeah, we have a democracy, but did you see what went on in Washington last week? And is that effective? Oh, it's not effective at all because the people who are elected, many of them don't really give a damn about their constituents, about what they're supposed to do. Or about, about what, democracy. 
well, democracy is only the thing that put them they in power. They kept saying they're defending they can, democracy, defending democracy, and then they do an action like last week, which flies in the face of democracy. That's all rhetoric. That's all rhetoric to keep them in power, just like anybody else. But, you know, I, I would prefer to have a benevolent despot than, than to have a hey, democracy. Uh, me, me. I, I, well, I, I don't know that judgment. you're necessarily benevolent. That's the that's the concern. Well, I could be you know, very I, benevolent. If I, I, if, very I angry would, at, if I was king of America, it would be very. See, uh, this is what I don't understand about like the king of England, you know, uh, or the queen of England. I mean, y you've got it up made. OK, you don't have to fight for the right to be king. And right. and and what are you doing it for? You know? I mean, you got to be nice to everybody. I mean, how do you keep it? How do you keep a country going? How do you, if you're a ruler, how do you keep ruling? You give the people something. You know. Well, that's that's easier said than done, I would think, because look at the nature of people. Everybody wants a different thing, and even groups of people within them, everybody wants a different thing. Yeah. So it, that's that's a tough thing. What's the best solution? I don't know. See, I have a theory, and this is good. I mean, how old are you now? 60. 60. So you, you're not even getting Social Security yet. Not yet, no. Not yet. Um, but, I mean, I, uh, I just uh, I think that uh, uh, everybody, we don't have, we, let me put it this way. There are enough people who don't want to work that we should pay them not to work because then there'll be more jobs for the people who want them. But, the, but I, will I don't the think people there are who want the jobs want to work I don't if think they cannot? I don't think there are enough jobs to go around for people to make a real living. Oh, you I know. think you're right about that. You know, I think so if that's the case, change that. If that's the case, be like you do with farmers. You know, you pay them not to grow crops. Okay, well, pay people not to work. I like I like the idea, but I don't think in practice it's because there it's, are some people who just don't want to work, and if they don't want to work, why should they? Oh well, so they'll make some money, so they'll they'll be a uh, you know uh, what what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, productive member of society. Yeah, yeah productive. I'm too old. I forget terms like productive. A uh, productive uh, uh, member of society, and f fuck that. It, the, you can be a productive member of society by not working. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Yeah. I, I I don't think it could happen if everybody doesn't well, work. Well, they're not going to do it in this country because we have this worth that work ethic. Oh, you have to work for what you get. No, not necessarily. What work ethic if do we you, have? If you've got a vibrant democracy, then it's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right? Yeah. And, yeah, and by and, the way, you don't get happiness. You get the pursuit of happiness. That's right. You Let's have, not. You, you have to. You have to get the happiness on your own. Yeah, that's your yeah, thing. But we're giving you the ability to have the happiness. Have the right to chase it. Yes. But then why don't we say to people, you don't want to work? That that's what makes you happy. Be be our guest. You know. We'll well, pay I don't know. Work. I I suspect a lot of it has to do with with our um, our love and our desire for these old documents to rule us whether it be the the declaration of independence whether it be you know what whatever old 200 year old document or even worse many scriptures i mean how long 2000 years old 3000 years old we're we're following this in in today's it it it, it doesn't make sense to me let's write some new rules let's write some new new ways to live based on how we live now and stop going to the founding fathers and Founding fathers haven't been around for 250 years. What do we yeah. care about founding fathers? Why don't we have people with a foundation now? Well, I mean, we should just supply things to people who, I mean, we should supply all the things they need, health care, so on and so forth, you know, and and, they, and, and, a, and a couple, of, uh, you know, about 500 bucks a week not to work. Um, where, where does that money come from? I don't know the other ones who are making money. Oh, I don't want to do that. Why should I pay for somebody not to work? Well, because that, that's the way uh, a good democracy works. We take care of each other. The only reason we have a no, government. No, that's, 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 that's a difference. Wait a minute. Well, the democracy only, is a political yeah, but situation. The only reason we have a government, okay, is it's kind of we're all 
we're all chipping in and we're all we we get all these things back but the thing is that what the government doesn't want to do now like the guys in congress they don't want to give those things back they'd like to take away social security they'd like to take away medicare i mean why why that's that's what a democracy should do that's what a government should do that's why you have a government is so that you can all you all chip in to take care of each other I, I don't know that that's practical. No, I don't know if that's, that, that's practical. It's not practical, practical in this country. It is practical in other countries that do it. I mean, England's been very good at that. Um, best health, one of the best health care systems oh, in the world. Health care wise, and, yes. And, and you don't pay better. a penny. Somebody who was in England. No, no, no. You do pay a penny. Someone's paying for that, and that's coming out of the the tax structure in England, okay. and that's coming out of whatever whatever business structure there is to pay for that. Okay, but I, I say nobody's business. paying for it. I say, okay, here comes my big argument. Okay, stand by for Alex's big crazy argument. And um, now Alex's big crazy argument. We're running out of time almost. I'm going to have to do this in two parts. Anyway, um, uh, 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 now I forgot what I was going to say. Your big crazy argument. My big crazy argument. Um, hmm. 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 About, about government? About government. I, I forgot it. Oh, I, man. I, just, I got so busy saying something else that I forgot what I was going to be saying. All right. Maybe you know, I'll come you, back. You yeah. know what's interesting about getting older? The things that used to happen when you smoke pot now just happen all the time. You know, like that you're, you're in the middle of a thought, you know? Yeah, I smoke quite a bit of pot, so... Um, it's pretty much the same for me. Really? Uh, okay. The thought process is pretty much the same. I only smoke pot to put me to sleep. Mm, I don't. I, I, I do it for a lot of reasons, a lot of different reasons. Really? Oh, yeah. okay. I, I just, I, I, I don't do it when I'm not, uh, when, when, during the middle of the day or something, because it just, it, it throws me off too much. Not you know, me. I'm, I'm very susceptible to getting really high fast. I can do it on one puff off of vape. You know? I envy you. Yeah. Well, I, nice. you know, we just opened up our first pot store here. In I New heard. York. I heard. Yeah. Down in the village, right? Is it down in the village? It's down somewhere downtown. I heard. Why did it take so long? It must well, have been legal for a well, year the now. The reason they opened it up uh, last month, uh, middle of last month, was because they promised that we would have marijuana store uh, mar at least one marijuana store by the, by the end of the year. Yeah. Oh, okay. And now they're giving away the other licenses for people to have. Uh, oh, good. All know. right. But there's a big argument about the licenses they're giving out because what they're giving them out to are people who got arrested for selling marijuana, and spent time in jail. They get the first choice of getting a uh, a uh, license. Why? Because they feel that that's a way to make up for all the injustices of the people who went to jail for selling marijuana all those years. So they get to sell marijuana who would legally you, it, for let anybody me, else. Let me ask you this question. Who would you rather have sell marijuana? Some guy who's got a business proposition going or some guy who used to sell the stuff and knows it? I suppose that makes good sense, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I want to know. My guy should be a dealer who just opened up a store. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Okay. So it made a lot of sense. They did that in New Jersey, too. They they passed that in New Jersey. It's not that other people aren't going to eventually be able to get the licenses, right. but first come, first high. You know, I mean, whoever, <laughs> you, you know. Does New Jersey have dispensaries yet? Oh, yeah. Well, they've oh. had them for quite a while. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it, now here comes my question. If I buy marijuana in California. Right. And it's legal here in New York. Can I bring it back to New York? No. But it's legal here. No, you cannot because it's still a schedule one drug according to the federal government. Didn't and they just change that it, or they just tried to change that? Uh, as far as I know, it still is. I think it, Biden asked that that be changed. It'd be nice. Yeah, it'd be nice. That would that would change the complexion of marijuana in this country instantly. But right now, if you go through TSA, which is a federal uh, uh, agency, they can take it off you if you're if you're 
uh, leaving the state. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it's a federal Schedule One drug. Oh well, okay. Thank. Yeah. Okay. Well, no. What happened was, you know, they had trouble uh, in some of these states what to do with the money, so they had these big safes well, and people who guard them every night. And then finally, they found out the credit unions could take their money, so that's where they put their money. You know. Oh, you know, okay. Yeah. Hey, listen, so we've run out of banks, credit unions. We've okay. run out of time here. Boy, it went fast. Yes, it did. Just went by like uh, lightning. <laughs> And we didn't even talk about anything. Just hair and beards. Well, and... maybe next time we will. Okay. All next right. time I'll tell you what I want for, for dinner immediately. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Albert Reynoso. Thank you, Alex. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. My old friend and producer, uh, Albert Reynoso, who I love having on this program, uh, and we, he's going to do it occasionally. We, uh, we uh, had him on the last couple of weeks uh, at this time, so, you know, we'll, we'll try him again. Anyway, hello, everybody. Got my coffee here, ready to go. Oh. Mm. So what's new? I was, oh, you know what I'm waiting? Uh, I'll tell you about me. Let me tell you a little bit about me, and we'll, we, we'd like to get a few more people waiting online, but we only have two people waiting to get on the program. So I will, uh, for a moment, uh, I tell you about, you about me. If you've ever listened to me, you know that I'm a hypochondriac. Big time. I mean, a big time hypochondriac. Uh, for most of my life, every day of my life, I felt I was dying of cancer. And one day I finally got cancer, albeit prostate cancer, albeit a kind of low grade uh, a prostate cancer. So what they did with me is they took me in and they gave me, pummeled me with radiation, first of all, what they call, like, a, they, in some places they call it cyber knife. It's actually called stereotactic uh, and um, uh, radiation. And that took, like, five episodes, and then they, they just, you know, demolished my prostate that way. And then uh, uh, the doctor came along and put seeds, 100 seeds in my prostate that were radioactive to kill the rest of it, to make sure everything was dead. Now, I had the same guy, believe it or not, who did Giuliani 20 years ago. And he's very good. I mean, he's world class. He wrote the book on seed implantation. And uh, I remember when I said to him, when, he, when we found out I had the cancer, and I said to him, so I said, is, is, I went to him because he was the oncologist. I said, is this going to kill me? And he looked me straight in the face and with just this grimace on his face went, no. Okay, so that's what kind of a hypochondriac I am. So as a result, you know, after this thing, this, this uh, radiation and the uh, seed implantation, uh, I uh, had to, I, I sought out my original urologist who started me out on this adventure, and I said, I don't hear from the doctor, at, you know, who did the operation on me. He said, you're not going to. He said, once they've done you, they're through with you. Okay, he said. So come back to me, and I'll take good care of you. All right. And he is—he's the—he's he, he of all the doctors I have, he's my favorite. Okay. And I got to tell you, I went to his—I went to his office yesterday, and um, a, a day before yet. Well, yesterday, yeah, yesterday. And I got to tell you, not only is he one of the most pleasant guys I've ever had as a doctor, but his staff is the most pleasant staff I've ever had to deal with. You know how you go into doctors sometime and they got the staff there doing all the billing and stuff and the, the woman at the front desk, and they sign here, please, do this, do that, okay. Do you have your insurance card? Okay, you got your insurance card? It's not that way at this place. He's just, his people are just really pleasant, okay? Now, imagine this from a guy whose primary activity in life is sticking his finger up men's butts, okay? And I think some women's butts, too, I guess. He is a urologist after. Well, no, he wouldn't stick it up a women's butt because women don't have prostate, so there's no reason for them to stick a finger up, his, up their butt. But anyway, um, 
And uh, so I go to him, and he's really a good guy. He's really a terrific guy. And so I went, I have to go to him every, at least, I've had to go to him after a six month period, come back at a six month period. And then this time I had to go back after nine months. And the thing that dictated is, is they give you a thing called the PSA test, which is a blood test, which by the way, every time I get a blood test, look, you can, can you see that? Right there. That's where I have my blood drawn. Okay, I always go black and blue. Anyway. Uh, they, they draw blood on me and they give me, you know, they send it out and they check for uh, what's called uh, the PSA, which uh, uh, they hope doesn't go up, okay, because if it goes up, that's not good, especially since I've had the cancer uh, operation thing, all right? So anyway, uh, so they go and they do this thing for me and they do the shot and they do draw the blood and they send it out. And then it comes back, and it whatever the result is, the result is. In my particular case, it has since I had this prostate radiation thing going, and the seeds and so on, it has been almost undetectable. The PSA, an unmeasurable, as they put it, and I say anything below a point zero two or whatever. Anyway. So that's the way it's been. It's been that way for, uh, let's see, about one, two, three, I think maybe four, four tests that I had. Yeah, probably four tests. And so I, I'm i waiting for the new one to come back. It's coming back tomorrow because my doctor couldn't get it today because he doesn't go in on Wednesdays anymore. Um, that's another story I got to tell you. But anyway, uh, so he, um, uh, so I'm supposed to get it tomorrow. And I am just worried about it, you know. Am I going to, is the cancer going to come back? Is it not? Now, chances are, in my case, it, yeah, I'm not getting a wood, by the way. It does, it, it, you know, it, it won't come back. I mean, I, I had, uh, I, I had everything done that should be done. And my doctor said that he hasn't, he only has had one case of a guy having it come back. And that's out of maybe 4,000 patients that he has. So he says, don't worry about it, he said. If it does, we'll do something about it. And if it doesn't, come back and see me in a year. Well, that means in a year i got to go take another one of these PSA tests and sit here the night before the program telling you how I'm all worried about the results of the test. And I don't know how it's going to turn out, but, I mean, uh, chances are pretty good, I think, pretty good, that it's going to be all right. So, uh, knock on wood. Okay, so... But that, that's me, you know, and I have to go through this like once a year. Uh, and and I, before I used to have to go through it once every a couple of, uh, uh, once every six months, then once every nine months, and now it's gonna be once every year. So, and they made an appointment for me a year from now, so I guess he's hopeful that everything's gonna be okay. But I'm sitting here looking up everything on the internet, you know, uh, what are the chances I've got cancer, blah, 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 that it's come back. They say, well, there's a 20% recurrence factor that happens after 12 years. So I don't know what that all means, but I read this stuff online and I've gotten a, I, I'm, I'm a, I, I know everything about medicine now because I've gone to the internet. Don't ever go there. Don't ever go there. And don't ever be me, by the way, if you ever, if you ever get the chance. Well, it's time to bring our citizen panel in here, and uh, I'm uh, now admitting them all. You can see them popping in there. Uh, there's uh, Brian Neary, and uh, there's uh, there's uh, Alan, and uh, wait a minute, and who? Wait a minute, uh, Charlie. Hey, Charlie, you're you're sideways. Are you using an iPhone? He has no power on. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Ah, oh, it's early. Got a power outage. Oh, yeah, you're you're out there in Texas. Yeah, Texas grid. I have no electricity for 17 hours and counting. Yeah, 17 oh, hours. Thank, thank God you got that iPhone and that battery backup. Yeah, some nice person sent that to me. Yes, sir. Sent you the what? The battery backup? Yeah. What's, uh, Alan sent that to me. What what's a what's the battery backup? Is it a, is a battery right? Charges. It what? There's enough charge to charge my iPhone like ten or twelve times. Oh really? Wow. Oh okay. Yeah. Good. 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 This is what it looks like. 
This is a pretty heavy duty one. Oh, I have one of the, I have one of those too. Yeah, you know. I, it's the same thing I sent to mine Charlie. Do, mine doesn't work anymore, however. I'll send you one. Well, it's my my battery is uh, the thing I charge it with is 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 oh. if the battery is dead. Okay. I'll find you some. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you want to, I don't mind accepting gifts. I don't mind. Yeah. You take you take care of me entertaining me during the week. So yeah. So anyway, I'm a hypochondriac. Did you notice that? Yes. So, so just remember, every time you go through it, yeah, we go through it. Yeah, I know. I know. Do you, do you remember this happening once before? <laughs> thank you, Brian. Many, many times. Many times. Yes, yeah. thank you, Brian. I didn't say it. So uh, tomorrow morning, I will get up early and see if he sent me a note. He usually sends me a note as soon as he gets the results. So You're probably going to outlive But he all said he takes, he takes the Wednesdays off now. And what I love about him is he talks to me about his problems. Which I love. What doctor does that, you know? And he was just telling me, he said, I've decided to start taking a Wednesdays off. And I said, why? And he said, because, you know, I'm not getting any younger. And uh, I, uh, it's just that this business is getting so terrible, being a doctor, that I don't want to do it five days a week. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm taking Monday, I'm taking Wednesdays off. And I said, well, what's so terrible about it? He said, nobody pays you anymore. I said, oh, Medicare, huh? He said, no, no, Medicare is the best compared to everything else. He said, it's the insurance companies that are fighting you to pay and not pay you off. Good huh. right. And he said, and I said, I guess uh, that's why a lot of doctors are just going to uh, uh HMOs and stuff. And he said, absolutely. He said, HMO, he said, I'd get maybe a couple hundred thousand dollars a year to be a doctor there. And I go home, you know, yeah, I don't have to cool. take care of an office. I don't have to have a staff, you know, but what he's got, he said to me, I've got 4,000 patients. Wow. Holy wow. Shit. Wow. Uh, wow. He's really okay. good, but he's really good. And I know why he has 4,000 is because once he gets them, they don't want to go anywhere else. Okay. But, and he's been in this business for years, and you, my other, my my uh, GP, I think, has something like four thousand. And and so anytime your doctor tells you that he acts like he knows who the hell you are, he really doesn't. I thought mine actually did. Now you're starting to scare me a little bit. Let me, can, can we see you, Tony? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you in, are you in a witness relocation program? <laughs> no. I'm doing the week <laughs> for my mother. One number to play tomorrow. No, I. <laughs> What I just uh, you know I mean I, I and I know that he kind he, maybe he he remembers me vaguely but he's looking down at a chart and he's telling me and then we did this and then you had that and this is what happened when that happened because I'm one of four thousand he's not going to remember the particulars of me especially when he only sees me every six months. No. I'm going to test my doctor next time I go next week. I'm yeah. going to try yeah, to no, figure some say, questions. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> right, hey, Tony, tell, tell him the wife's pregnant again. Okay, Did, but just says. just say to him, just say to him, I'll never just, that, but I gotta I, I, just leave your you leave that chart closed. I want to ask you a few <laughs> questions. I know he went to Michigan. I think I don't know more about him than he knows about oh, me. Of course, <laughs> of course. The degrees on the wall. He even know who Jim Harbaugh was. Did you went to Michigan? Don't you watch the football games? I never mm. went. That's a good thing I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, I feel I, I felt sorry for him. You know, like I was about ready to say to him, "Look, I know I'm only supposed to come back in a year if this thing's okay, but why don't you bring me back in six months? Just just so you can bill the insurance company." Alex, yeah. funny you said that when I was talking to him about probabilities and all, he goes like this to me, Tony, it's low grade. This is not going to kill you. Don't worry about it. You're the one that you're telling me. I'm the one getting the seeds and just did radiation. You're doing great. I just had six weeks of radiation. He said, but how's everything going? He says, I feel fine. since you see? You got no side effects. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. I wake up sometimes at night to pay. I mean, he was like all thrilled with everything. I mean, he did good work. I mean, you know. Phil well, had me have a wearing a pampas, Alex. When I was talking to Phil, Dr. Phil, you know what he said? What? Oh, you gotta go bathroom. You gotta go to the bathroom if you're in the car. I was fine. He put it I, I mean, I no, guess I hate no, it. No, you're kid. gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Tony, you know. Tony, you will learn real quick. Phil knows nothing about economics, medicine, government, <laughs> uh, a I think he means well. Politics. I think maybe, you know. This one, you know this, that's, that's, why the, well, that's why this show tonight is gonna be chucked full of, of real information. Because he isn't here. 
Actually, your, uh, your buddy, plan. your buddy Albert, is a little behind the times on flying with marijuana. If you fly from one state is it illegal? to another, and both states allow marijuana, uh, you can fly with it, and the TSA won't stop you. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. And it probably is still a Schedule One drug, but you know, a Schedule One drugs are by the federal government are drugs that have no medical use. Mm-hmm. And I think that they're coming around to marijuana, but I think federally, <laughs> that's right. So yeah. But, well, anyway, yeah, so, you can travel. Um, so you know, I mean, um, uh, uh, I, I kind of felt sorry for my doctor because I lo- really like him, you know. And I mean, I, I'm sure he makes a decent living. He's single. He ha- has always been single, but he's single. And uh, is this the urologist, Alex? Yeah, my urologist. Yeah. I mean, I like my guy too, Doctor well, Richard. He's, he's a good. urologist, he's a and like me, he good. knows the positive uses of the penis. You see, and when you're single, <laughs> you get you more. When you get when you're you single, you get Alex. more of you get more of a chance. <laughs> it's like, hold on, I I know this guy, Alex. He, he may probably answer these questions like, a little better than me. It, Everybody's laughing in the office. <laughs> well, he did the finger thing with me, and he said, "Yeah, well, yeah. he says it's like he said it, it was smooth me. He, yeah, he yeah. says it's like it should be. It's it's flat and shrinking." And I said, oh. I said to him, I said, um, uh, I didn't say it to him, but I thought to myself, well, you know, I had many good years with this I was going to say, did you tell him how many balances you had? I mean, my God. You know, I, I put it to good use. And I wasn't married. And even when I was married, I put it to good use. You know? probably, probably had to hold his practice. Wait a second. It's going to be a long one. Yeah. But I, I but I, you know, I felt kind of sorry for him. I, I wanted to almost, I should say to him, listen, why don't I just come in and yeah. see in six months? Okay. Or I should just call him and say, I need to see the doctor. And then when I go in and I sit down, he says, what's your problem? And I say, I don't have any. I just wanted you to make some money. You know? yeah, yeah, take my card, build as much as you want within reason. Yeah, and charge me as <laughs> much as you want. that's what Marjorie does. Huh? Yeah, I don't like going to the doctors. Doesn't Marjorie go to the doctors? Oh, Marjorie, listen, if Marjorie stopped going to her doctors, the entire medical system in New York would collapse. <laughs> that is like my mother, Alex. She loves seeing the doctor. How many doctors do you think by the end of tomorrow she has seen this week? Are there only there are only so far four days in this week? Three? You you, you get you had the because I remember answer. like my mother. We were always going to the doctor yeah. every week with us. Like she knew so the month. Tomorrow friends. she's going to her third doctor of the I week. Mean, she went to the toll doctor. My oh. mother I had to go in to get a nails cut. I still get caught from that guy. Oh, he had to cut those nails. Oh. God bless him. Tony, Tony it's that called. It's called the podiatrist. I know. You had to see when she flipped the shoe off. He's like, oh, can you come? Thank she had little platoons. Calm this down. Come on. We really got to go for this? Come, come on. Let me answer I did day. not send him coffee. I swear to God. I actually got to get a cup. I made some. No, don't. I'm drinking you. Don't. Oh, don't. oh, God. This hey, hey, Alex, oh, just mute him. So when he comes back, he doesn't know he's on mute. So it's good. Oh, really? <laughs> just mute him? And my, 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 friend's, uh, my friend has a big uh, <clears throat> I practice down here. So I text him. Uh, I asked him how many uh, how many. How many patients he has, and does he remember everybody or his uh, folders? He hasn't sent you back a message yet, though. No, no, I just, I just texted him. That'd be interesting, what he says. Uh, yeah. But, you know, of course, if you're a doctor in New York, your practice, the practices are pretty huge. Oh, yeah, I'm you sure know, he doesn't have that many. But because of just of the general population here, right. you know, it's pretty huge. Uh, yeah. and, and, and I'm not feeling sorry for him because if he has four, th- he says he has 4,000 patients, but I'm sure he doesn't see all of them. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, so, right, right. you know, but I just, I, 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 I felt sorry for him. I, I felt like, uh, uh, you know, this is a good guy. He has a good practice. Uh, and, and these, these medical, uh, insurance companies just nickel and dime him to death. You know, and Medicare says, here's what it's worth, here's what we'll pay. But these guys just constantly nickel and diming him. And that's terrible. It's the, just The stock terrible. in your company ought to go up, Brian, here in May. Uh, Biden is stopping the emergency um, of COVID. And so when you want at-home COVID tests, you'll probably have to pay for them unless your medical provides it. Medicare does not provide it mm-hmm. for free. Uh, testing is going to cost you whatever your copayment is. All that's going bye bye. You know why? He, uh, Biden would like to have extended it, but the Republicans won't sign the budget. 
Yeah. Well, we have so many different assays for tuberculosis and stuff that we've been not shipping for the last couple of years. We're making up all that time, so we're fine. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, hi, Jeff. How are you this evening? Good. Your your Good. head is really low in the frame, and you're lying back there, and you I look mean, like you're. I'm, uh... When your lens is dirty, your your lights are shining like stars. <laughs> well, maybe I got the lights. I'm in a different place today. I mean, at home, but. I just clean the lens. Maybe that'll help. Instead of trying right now. How's yeah. that? If you turn the lights off, that'll help too. Yeah, you'd be like Charlie then. <laughs> Boy, you guys, you guys are like me. <laughs> Charlie, I didn't notice. Beer no, black. Sure you. <laughs> uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Albert. It wants You're to, really dark in there. Albert came up with an <laughs> idea. He wants to do a show with me mm. uh, in which he would just interview me about my about my life not a, a lot of i told him because there was a lot of stuff in the life story that i told which mm -hmm. was it wasn't amplified you know there weren't particular you know i didn't get really particular on certain things perfect jeff and so he Thank said you, oh that's good he said what yeah. uh what uh you know i said uh, what should we call it and he says oh, i just come up with a name so i've come up with a name and I'm, I, I want, I've been thinking about this as a name for a show anyway, lately. And it's called Alex Bennett is Dying. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I know why, too, because every, remember that one time you put something, you put something on your Facebook, and it was just like, oh, yeah, you're doing good after the doctor visit or something like that. And remember, everybody started posting all that. Like, oh, Great. they thought you were going, yeah. They, they were yeah, the they're like, oh, 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 please get better. Remember you put something on your Facebook you a long take time take your own death like Andy Kaufman. <laughs> yeah, last, <laughs> no, last year you put well, something about getting better, and then everybody freaked out and was saying, oh, my God, I hope you get well, better. Well, my feeling is, is that to begin with, everybody is dying from the day they're born. Okay. Yeah. But my other reason for calling it that is I'm 83 years old. Of course, I'm I'm in the process of dying. I don't know whether it'll be you know, 10 years from now or 15 years from now or whatever. But uh, you know, I'm dying. Or before your next urology appointment. Well, you know, I may get that information tomorrow, and oh, yeah. then I'll be back in. Sorry, I, I meant the year from now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I hope it stays away from you, Tony, and that you, you know, look, Rudy Giuliani had the same thing done to him that was done to me, except he gave, they also gave him the hormones. Oh, uh, wow. So yeah, Rudy, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, yeah, I mean, that, that's why, that's anything. why he's such a bitch. Is that why he's so crazy? <laughs> Rudy uh, so Tony didn't use the same urologist you did, did he? No. But anyway, he, he, he Rudy, uh, Rudy Giuliani is still alive at net, with prostate cancer and never killed him. True. You know? you know what he told me, Alex? And I don't want to beat a dead prostrate. I don't know if that's funny. Dead prostate. <laughs> oh, prostate? Yeah. You know what, he, what my doctor did tell me? He says, Tony, he says, he says, this is not going to kill you because it's so this. It's just it's not. It's not. You're going to get something to else. He says, this is because you got it so, 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 so early. He said, so don't even And you've never it. had any use for that prostate anyway, Exactly. Right? I said, you can just have it now. We'll just leave it at the desk. Can I donate it? I mean, really? My life is nothing. Can I this is my mother getting back at me now. Come on now. Wait for me. Because I used to yell at her when she used to wake me up at 2 in the okay, morning. Okay, okay. Calm down. Tell calm me. down. Tony, calm down. But Al, you know what she's doing? Calm, calm down, down, Tony. I know. This is the. She made me drink coffee all night to stay up. You know what she used to do to me? Wait, oh, I'm watching so. Mesh late at night, right? And I'll never forget this as long as I live. Tony, she was in the other room. Me. Anthony, I says, what? What's the matter, Ma? <laughs> I need you some water. Alex? He used to wake me up. He'll never know. <laughs> Perfect. He won't know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's so funny, Tony. Oh, my God. Oh, God, Tony. Yeah, really. That is good. Tell us more, Tony. That's crazy. Crazy. Wait, wait, wait. Let's pretend like we're listening to him. Yeah, we are. That's what, why yeah. Brian's saying things. Wow. Oh, yeah. I was going to have some more coffee. Oh, that's good, Tony. I can't Thanks make it. Well, can you hear us, Tony? Yeah. So Charlie, if you can hear us, Tony, we're having problems. So Charlie, how, what's the how's is the weather going to get better? Are they saying anything about the power or anything? Oh, all all, the, all they keep saying is we're working on it. We're working on it. This is, is it, it's your, your neighborhood, or is this? 
Are they talking statewide or is this neighborhood or what? Well, in Central Texas where this big uh, snow blizzard and all that crap has been going on. Yeah, do wow. this. Tell I people. Saw all over Dallas, Houston, yeah. Austin. Uh, the, oh, I was talking to Jack Bishop. Uh, when was it? Yesterday, I think, or maybe today he called me. And he said it's just icy out there. He said you can't yeah. even go out. You yeah. can't even walk outdoors. They, I saw a video on the news of a woman who was literally crawling on her hands and knees oh. across the ice because she couldn't stand up. I, it looked like she was wearing heels, which is not a good idea <laughs> in, in weather like that. You know. Good idea. Yeah. It's all uh, breaking off the of trees. They're yeah. so full, full of ice. Yeah. Wow. Just yeah. That's what happens is it rains oh. and then the weight builds up and yeah. it freezes. And yeah. Tony, so how's the weather where you are? He's been talking the whole time while we've been talking. <laughs> this is wonderful. It's like Tony the mime, you know. <laughs> Remember, do this to Phil when he's on, please. Oh, yeah, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, tell us all about it. Oh, here, I can't do it to him. But, but, Char but Charlie, is it is it like a small area? I mean, I know, like, Texas has this whole big grid, right? So are they saying everything is down, or are these just, no. like... Oh, grid. Oh, you're cutting out a little bit. Oh, thank you. The... Well, Charlie, oh, yeah. you, you just got muted. Char oh, oh. Yeah. Charlie. He's going back and forth a little bit. Yeah, he's cutting in. Yeah, yeah. And my cell phone. You know, we had uh, you muted for the last five minutes, Tony. I thought so, because I just came up with you like to unmute yourself. I said, oh, I didn't have... Good thing you did. I don't blame you. Let's do oh, it again. Don't make me regret it. I don't it. like to hear myself. Don't make me <laughs> regret it. You, you got me hooked on Last of Us. Great show. Yeah, it's a good show. It's a really oh, good show. Great. I just watched it again. Did anybody Is anybody oh, watching it besides so Tony and I? That's no, so I think good. I will. I think I, I will. Oh, the last I, episode. The first episode. Wait a minute. Are you there, Charlie? We can't hear you. You're breaking up, Charlie. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, you, you keep going on mute back and forth. Well, somehow, I have like, no power, and so I'm sure that the cell sites are few and far between. What is he yeah. doing for food, Charlie? With the refrigerator, I had to go out. He's I, eating. I, won't, I haven't opened my refrigerator yet because I don't want the food to spoil. But he's I, got I his really good. can't. Tony, he's fine. He's got Skittles. You want me to send you some? I mean, hey, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie, here's an idea. Do you have like just take all the food that was in your refrigerator <laughs> and put it outdoors? That's true. <laughs> I'll stay cold. Yeah, just keep refilling with with ice water or something. Frozen. Yeah. Water. Oh man. So, yeah. Well, you know, it, you just again. It, it, it's going to happen every year. I mean, Apparently, what, what, what's, what's their what's their fix? No, it's a Greg Texas. Abbott. It's a Greg Abbott electrical plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Texas, kind of crazy, Texas will not connect to the national grid. So yeah. when there's a power outage, they can't do a couple switches. Oh, like basically, they, basically the national grid says fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It's yeah like, you know, that's terrible. And guys like. And there you've got Charlie. Where is he? He's in the dark. You know, but Greg <laughs> Abbott's wheelchair probably has 17 extra batteries. Yeah, Greg. something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder. I wonder if Char if, if if Jack's going to be able to do his show tonight. You know, that'd be interesting. Last night he had a good crowd. It was a good show. Really? He had, he had like six of us on. Really? It's good. Good yeah. for him. If he gets and gets seven, I'm going to stop doing this. You know. <laughs> Uh, but Tuesday uh, is his big day. Is Tuesday his big day? Yeah, because you're not on. I'm not on. Oh. Well, oh. come on. Now I'm on, and and hopefully people who are listening to this program will then go over and do his. A couple of people. Time. Were you there last night, Kevin? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, uh, Charlie and I were. That's it. Out of this. Group. How, how's how's the weather down where you are, Kevin? It's cold, but it's nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The mornings are really cold this week, but yeah, it's better than yeah. a month of rain. <laughs> well, we are yeah. supposed to. The weather here. Hold on a second. The weather here. Let me look at the rest of the week here. Uh, the weather here for the rest of the week is on um, Saturday. Well, on Friday, they're expecting it to go down. Well, it's good. Today, tonight, it's going to go down to uh, 25 degrees, okay? Oh, 25 degrees on Thursday, 
19 degrees, or rather, is it 19? What is it? No, it's 10 degrees on Friday, okay? And then 7 degrees on Saturday. You know, we very seldom see it go that low. I know, and we had no snow other than that dusting the other way. We had, we had some snow this morning. Yeah, I woke up, I looked outside, I said, wow, we got a little snow, like a little half an inch. I should probably yeah, send Charlie light. one of these next. It's a little LED light. It's pretty bright, and it plugs into the same charging block. And I use them when the power yeah, goes out. But the out. problem is that that battery is going to wear out, okay? <laughs> no, there, it's lithium. On, well, you recharge it. No, but what are you going to recharge it on? Um, yeah, that's well, you hopefully. gotta plug it in. I mean, come on, come in your car. No, going up there. You plug it into the same thing your iPhone into to recharge. That's right. Well, wait a minute. What do you, what do you plug your re, uh, your iPhone? You plug into to, uh, uh, a USB Alex, port, Alex, right? Alex, Jeez, I'll cool, send man. you a Alex, I'll send you a charging block, a cable, and the battery. You'll, it, it'll be self-explanatory, especially to somebody like. But you, you can't charge it if you don't have electricity. Yeah, well, you have charge, have charge it before the electricity goes out. Yeah, like, like Charlie knew. Charlie was no, already. I know you it. charge yeah. it before the electricity goes out, but then suppose it goes out for five days. Yeah, well, then you're out of luck. Then, then you're out. You're <laughs> shit out of luck. Exactly. That's like the ball locks. You're on your own. <laughs> Not if you have four batteries <laughs> like that, like I do, and two in my car. Hopefully by then he's got what are you hey, Charlie, why don't you get in your car and meet me in Arizona and watch the Super Bowl? <laughs> I may have to do that. That's like halfway. Anyway, so no one no the electricity's still on in Arizona. <laughs> so no one is watching The Last of Us beside Tony. Oh, and I. It's so good. I'm gonna buy the video uh, game. I'm kids. sure Tony has a lot but, to talk about it. Oh, it's great. It's a great show. No, the, the last episode was, I, I won't go into what it was, but it it's one of those those episodes where by the end, a tear comes to your eye. It's yeah, it was, that, it was that sad. Yeah, I heard your show on Tuesday. I was listening to it. it, it was, very, um, emo very emotional. It was sad, yeah. I and mean, you were right about it. It was very sad, yeah. Yeah. You heard his so, show on Tuesday. I was, Monday, I was listening Monday. to the Monday show. He meant the Monday, Monday show. Monday. Yeah, same here. People were harassing me well, on that show. He, he could have lived it. He could have <laughs> listened to the Monday show on Tuesday. Why? That's true. Yeah. Why were they harassing me, <laughs> Brian? <laughs> well, I just. It, it, Mandy man, harasses me on that show. That's why. You know, Mandy hates in love with you. Mandy hates him. Yeah. Yeah. She <laughs> dared me there. She, she threatened me. She dared me to call us. Yeah. And I was, I was listening to it. On the way home from Lodi yesterday. Actually, we have a very nice, happy show there with a bunch of people who really like each other. So to say that she hates him is is kidding, you know. <laughs> she hates Phil. Oh, yeah. No, she hates Phil. <laughs> she hasn't even met him and she hates him. <laughs> well, that's common with most people who have never yeah, met right. Phil. Yeah. And if He's they meet Phil, the good honest. thing about meeting Phil is if you hate Phil, once you meet him, you're going to hate him even more. No, no, you know that's wrong. That's wrong. When you meet him, you like him. That's the problem. Oh, you see? That, we have any more letters for Phil? Remember, you had to on live on the five. You had letters. Oh, we got letters. We get letters every day. No, I haven't gotten any lately. But you know, occasionally I get one from one or two, three people, four people, five people, or six people, or maybe seven or eight or nine or ten, maybe eleven or twelve. But anyway, uh, that say uh, you know. That guy's a pain in the ass. And I, I, I go, I agree. You know, they say, why do you have him on? I think he even gets more than I do. No. Yeah, they, that one guy hates you on Alex's page, too. They post up after the show. I usually read it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The hate that comes out of those posts are kind of funny, though, I think. <laughs> no, yeah, I, my, my old feeling used to be, I don't care whether you love me or hate me, just as long as you listen. Yeah, me too. I mean, they're listening. It's enjoyable. I mean... It's sparking something that they hate him. Well, I don't not, know why they hate him so much, though, Phil. Is it his attitude, you think? Well, I is think it it's Republican. His, it's his politics. Oh, okay. yeah. It's Republican. His, oh, we got Republican on the list. Okay. Oh, yeah. I Alan said it, Republican I again. It. I said Republican? Alan. Alan. No, he's got to listen to me. Jew, Trump, Republican, and uh, Oprah. mar lago mar lago sorry. Oh, well, you just said it. Okay. Just said them all. <laughs> yeah, I just said them all. There we go. We just hit a trifecta. Oh. <laughs> you know? Come in, uh, um, um, you know, well, I, I want to bring something up here, and I just want to so see. so bad. What? This weather is so bad. How bad is it? I'm leaving 
to no, Florida. No, Demar, you're going, yeah, you're going down to Florida. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to be wearing T-shirts. It's so cold. How cold it? was 70. How, how, how cold is it? Florida it, it, it? It's so cold. <laughs> how like, cold is it? That I was in Central Park just an hour ago, and I saw a squirrel trying to thaw his nuts. <laughs> it's cold. That's how cold it was. And now it's going to go down because you know the muggers don't want to be out in the cold weather too. How do you pull the gun when it's zero degrees? I'm going to drop this <laughs> one. You better wear gloves because it's cold. You know. You got the nice. isotoners on with the 38. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Isotoners. Listen, I, I, I you know, I, something's really been bothering me lately. Now, you know, this whole thing with uh, uh, Trayvon Nichols, is that a Tyree Nichols? Tyree Nichols. Um, I keep mixing him with Trayvon, Trey, uh, Tyree Nichols, uh, is, it, it was terrible. Anybody who saw the videos, you know, you were, yeah, I couldn't watch it. It was, it was horrible to watch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I didn't relate it to it as being a black man being beaten up. I related to it as a human being beaten up. And, yeah. you know, the cops have been doing this for years, but now they're being called to account for it. And we also have the technology out there where there's video of all this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't have that before. They couldn't have picked the worst place. A camera on a pole aiming down <laughs> right on top of where yeah. they're walking around this guy's oh, handcuffed. And then they could intermix and that. And they could intermix that with the with the body cams and so on. But we have we have video good. everywhere when we had the thing up in uh, Minneapolis. Uh uh, you had uh, uh, somebody with an iPhone who shot George the whole Floyd. thing. George Floyd. George Floyd had an iPhone. You know, so the technology is out there now that, you know, you can't get away with this stuff. And, and when people try to, right. there's proof that it happened. However, however, and, and, and as appalled as I am by what I saw, I was bothered by seeing it. And I was bothered by seeing it because... There are five people who are being called to account for this who are going to be put on trial. Seven now, right? Uh, no, I think the other two were just uh, relieved of duty. Uh, they haven't decided what to do with them yet, whether to file charges against them. But be that as it may, they released the video, which I thought was a bad idea. And the reason I think it's a bad idea is that uh, all of a sudden, you've got all these news operations sitting there showing it, you know, in slow motion and backwards and upside down and look at what's happening here mm -hmm. and what's that cop? To, oh, he's chewing gum, you know. And I mean, th they're just analyzing this to death. And then the American public is also seeing this and the possible jurors mm -hmm. are also seeing this. Don't you think that a video like this, the only good that it does by releasing it okay is to make memphis look good okay to make the memphis authorities look good but that the better judgment would be we only show this when it's time to show it in court okay and not let the news media prejudge yeah. the case by showing it saying isn't that terrible the way that guy is standing over there not doing anything yeah it's all horrible it's all terrible i can sit there and say the same thing but, you know, where are you going to be able to impanel an unbiased jury in this case uh, with that kind of stuff out there? I think that we should do what they do in England. In England, if people are charged with a crime, that's the last anybody talks about it till it goes to court. And then it's proven in a court of law. Of course, there you have to prove yourself innocent as a pro, pro, opposed to the state having to prove you guilty, different kind of law. But nevertheless, I think that's a good thing to abide by because, you know, the, the press just has a field day with this thing and starts trying this whole thing on the air. And, so that, bo like and that bothers me because as, as disgusting as, and I'm going to have to say it now because I've seen the video, as disgusting as these guys were, they deserve a fair trial. Would anybody Never disagree with that, or what I just said? Yes. They're no. not going to, I would bet you they will, unless, unless, um, where, where, where did it happen? Nashville? No, where did it happen? Memphis. 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 Tennessee. Unless Tennessee has different laws than most of the country, they didn't commit murder. That 
they committed manslaughter. Murder would have been, let's stop this black guy and let's kick him to death. That's murder. Yeah. So manslaughter is the unlawful killing of a human being. It, it, you know, negligent. Like, so they're really, they're really, die. but but still, this is it's, it's they're horrible. Being charged they murder to too, aren't they? Charlie, do you disagree with me on this? Okay, good, good, because I, you know, I, I, I just, I get very bothered by it. You know, I, 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 I because every time this happens lately. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I realize I can think whatever I want to think of these guys, and believe me, it isn't good, okay? No. But I, I have to defend their right as an American to, to a fair, unbiased trial. And they've even gotten to the point where they're, they're comparing the videos to the police press report that was released. Hmm. And that's even more analytical. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're, they're, they're just getting way overboard with it, I think. Well, and, and remember, this is <clears throat> this is at night, you know, the middle of the night where there's nobody around. If this was during the day, you know, and there are people around those houses, maybe people wouldn't. would come up there and they're there on their cell phones and those are going out instant. You know, everything else, you know, all these other recent ones have been instantaneous. There's no way to control those. Right. This one just happened to be a way to control it, but they, they pushed everything well, out. Well, I think there, uh, yeah, I think there are several things here that we haven't seen. You know, we, we have no video of what went on before it. You know, was he racing down the street at a, at a breakneck speed or going the wrong way on the street or whatever they claim? Right. But and, should, what, should and, what, we, and what was the initial encounter? Well, we actually you know. do have that. It's actually been posted. It has the been? Car, yeah, what they're absolutely. claiming? Go ahead, Brian. What they're claiming of the car, why they, why they were trying to pull him over? No, right, that, that's no the thing. I don't, yeah, they, 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 the, the videos that I saw were like on ABC, and it was four videos. It started out with uh, a, a, a call of somebody driving <laughs> reckless or at high speed. They catch up to the car, a couple of them. Mm -hmm. They take the person out of the car, but he resists arrest. They mm -hmm. can't get, five officers can't get control of one guy. So they, they, they offer to tase him. He still resists. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Everybody froze cables, up. But cables only, the, but the, the cables only go like 20 feet. So they miss him with the taser. Mm -hmm. But one of the cops was nice enough to try and pepper spray him. And actually, and they ended, missed him with the pepper spray. And they got actually ended, up, ended up pepper spraying one of his fellow officers. So the whole video <laughs> is washing this fellow officer. Yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Then, they, then, they, then they cut to the next video, which they find the guy running down the street. They surround him, and they fight him to get him in the handcuffs. They fight him in handcuffs, sit him down, lean him against the vehicle, and then start kicking and beating him. And, okay, and let, let me just for a moment. Yes, Brian. Oh, I was just going to say, but I think that's what Alex is saying. That I, ha I haven't seen this other first video either, but the, the question is, how, why was he being pulled over, right? Right. Uh, here, I, I here, here's what I'm, what I'm, what I've learned from the video. Okay, the main lesson I've learned from the video. First of all, if the police ever start beating on you like that, just go limp. Do not respond. Just you know, try and cover yourself or whatever, but go limp, because there's no benefit to you fighting back. Okay. He could. He couldn't fight back. Right. By the time. All, All I'm video, saying yeah. is, j just go limp, you know. Just go. Hey, I'm not. I'm not going to do anything here, go, you know. The other thing is, you don't then get up and run away, because then that really these these guys are macho guys, and their sudden attitude is, oh well, you can't do that to us. We're cops. We're going to get you and beat the crap out of you. You know. So you don't run away. That's another lesson to be learned. You, did Charlie, you had your hand up? I can't, and where's your audio, Charlie? Try and hit your, see if your audio's on. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Is it on now? Yeah, it's on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what were you asking me? I was saying. Oh, what, I was getting close. I was not. See, your, your mic keeps going out on you. And I yeah. don't know why. You might be too far away. And it could it could just could be that it's you know it's 
We, we, we both have the same iPhone. Take my iPhone 14, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> See, there we heard you, Charlie. You know. Yeah. And yeah. Now, I'm not. Yeah, he's breaking up for yeah, some I, reason. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, if there's no power on, then they can't power the cell towers. And but what you need, what you need, what they need to come up with is a is a phone that is uh, that is charged by ice, and then you'd be in great shape. You know? There you go. Yeah. And and, and 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 you know, you could probably go satellite. These phones work on the satellite, the 14s now. No, yeah, they don't, just no. in emergencies. Are they right. no, well, they this don't. This is an emergency. They, they, oh, they, I don't think they work on this. You can't make a call on the saddle. No, you can only phones. text. Uh, I think you can't even do that. I think it's only used for emergencies. That's it's what supposed, he just said. It's supposed yes. to be when you're like out in the wilderness for you. That's right. That's right. They, they, that's, the, I guess, one of the good parts of the, about the iPhone 14. I was thinking that's about right. getting myself a, uh, a one of those ultra watches. The ultra ones, they're really big. They're gigantic. And the one with the heartbeat on it and all that. No, I have the heartbeat on mine. I, 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 in fact, I can test my blood oxygen on mine. Yeah. yeah. So can I for $5. Oh. A pulse oximeter. Yeah. Anyway. But you can't read So anyway, so you, none of you disagree with me about what I'm saying about what they, they've done. Because I the only benefit that I've seen to the... Uh, uh, to, the, to the releasing of the tapes is to the Memphis Police Department, the Memphis uh, city city uh, fathers or whatever, because uh, otherwise there's no. I'm not. I don't need to see that stuff. I really don't. Well, it's not. You don't need to, but the prosecutors. Well, need the to prosecutors have, need to. So they and know the, to charge them. The city exactly. Police but it, we. But you so don't they know to terminate them. Do we need them? Do we need no. to see those videos? No. You know, it, it, what, it, what, is, what is there we can do except get really mad and protest and, right. you know, demonstrate and do things like that. But we should do that anyway because this guy was killed at the hands of the police. Absolutely. You know. Well, once, once, the, uh, once the police and, and the guy who started it and they go to, and the judge says okay you're you're in trouble you're not whatever you leave you're going to prison at that point we can all look at the information because it's public right. information yeah that's right yeah, yeah. I, I mean Before i'd rather that, watch donald trump take the fifth amendment 400 oh, times geez. oh yeah you why would you i i don't know whether i would want it to have been the people in that room with donald trump or or donald trump having to oh. say mm -hmm. i you know he had, at a point he didn't even say i plead anymore he was just saying I, what i just said what i just said what yep. i just said but you know he has the right to do it yep he you does. know that is a very important right that we have is to not incriminate ourselves and to not answer a question under under oath if we feel that what we would be saying would come back to bite us in the ass. Of you course, know. there's three videos in the when he ran for the where he said that if you, yeah. where he said the only people that do that are criminals and the mafia. So. Yeah, yeah, right. You know, only think of company. <laughs> Move up a Capone, here I come. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. And this was about what? What was that? Uh, what was that whole thing about? I'm trying to remember what he was uh, testifying about. Uh, oh, it was in the Stormy Daniels payments. Oh, right. She it said he worked. had a small pee pee. Remember, she said that or something. Pee pee. Yeah, pee pee. You mean <laughs> you mean prostate, <laughs> prostate cancer? He don't. How oh, many? Come on. <laughs> how many of you feel just great that for best short animation? Yeah. One of the pictures that's been nominated is a film called My Year of Dicks. Is it? Oh, you did? I thought you were joking and, and, about and this. It's, that's and, and, and it's, not just, it's not just a film about a, a, a woman who went out with a bunch of guys named Dick. No, it's about a girl who decides she doesn't want to be a virgin anymore, and it's animated. Oh, and, my God. and it's called taking... My Year of Dicks, and it was hilarious when they, were, they announced the nomination and they didn't know what they were going to have to read because they were, you know, 
they were secured before the uh, before the nominations were handed out. And this guy reads the list and he goes, "My ear of dicks." And then he kind of paused. They looked up to see if he was reading it correctly. I didn't and try. he was. He absolutely was. So was it a good year? <laughs> Imagine it. <all. laughs> we, we've we've come a long way, haven't we? I mean, how, did you have any? I thought you were joking when you said that Monday. That's true, then. Yeah. Don't drink coffee oh before you call. Wait, wait, you let him on the drink. Monday show? What? You let him on the Monday show? No, I was no. listening oh, in no. the kitchen. Oh, no. He won't. I, mean, I don't come on. I, I won't let him on the Monday show because yeah. if he comes on, Marjorie will hang up. <laughs> I listen in the kitchen when I'm cooking. <laughs> I, listen, I listen to the show, but I don't get up that early, so you don't have to worry about me. You don't get up at four in the afternoon? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's one in the morning. afternoon here, and so I get up around two usually. Wow. You're a late sleep. You must be up all night, like a night. I am. I'm up till four in the morning. Yeah, I could see him up all night. I, I used to be that way. I used to stay up all night. I used oh, to I stay up till five. When he got married. Oh. No, until were... five, like five o'clock in the morning. I stay up till at least two o'clock in the morning now. Yeah. I do that now easy, yeah. You know, but then I've got, you know, I've got this show, and then afterwards I have to wait for uh, Jack to be through, and then I have to post his show. And and so by the time I do that, it's uh, it's one thirty, you know. And so I. Got, as far as you know, Jack is having a show tonight. So far as I know, I think I would have heard from him already, you know. Okay. If okay. I wasn't going to, and if we don't, we understand. Do we? You know, can't can't change Mother Nature. I mean, look at poor Charlie. He's and, and he's he, he he's so loyal to this program. He's willing to sit in the dark and be on. Absolutely, new, yeah. new phone, iPhone Play. and uh, battery pack. Yeah, yeah. So I I don't think he has a a fancy T-shirt either. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, oh, he, no. he, he, oh, believe no. me, if he had a T-shirt, he wouldn't be in it right now because he's probably you're bundled up, aren't you? Yeah, yep. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the phone that it keeps breaking up, but that could well well just be the cellular, service. Cellular, <coughs> cellular, only, only yes or no questions to Charlie tonight, please. Yeah, yeah, but you know, if, if somebody <clears throat> wants to make up notes to hand him, you know, so we can see it. <laughs> what is it you're eating there, uh, Brian? Brian is always eating on the show, which I don't mind. But what is it you're eating there? It's a coconut. It's like five different uh, coconuts in here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. You like coconut? Coconuts. Yeah, it's got like paper coconut here, and it's got jelly coconut, and yeah, it's, it's young it's, coconut, it's, old it's coconut. It's all GMO, right? Vietnamese dessert. It's a, oh, a Vietnamese okay. dessert. Uh, does your wife make it? No. Oh, you she does make some stuff, but this one's from... Uh, the other side of town. Oh, is there a Vietnam mar Vietnamese market? All over. Yeah, Florida we have a bunch of milk tea places around here. Oh, there's really? A lot of there's a lot of Vietnamese in in San Jose. Really? Oh, okay. A good friend of mine's a Vietnamese female that's a cop in San Jose. Got hired real easily because she speaks. Yeah. So anyway, this is you know I mean uh, uh, we're you know if, <clears throat> we really have to reassess how we handle this sort of thing considering the times we live in and the kind of things we have available to us you never yeah. had everybody having this now you know you, and and that everybody can record anything they see now i gotta tell you something quickly you're gonna charlie's gonna go nuts when he hears this and i'm sorry he can't respond to it that well yesterday i'm taking a cab back from the urologist <laughs> i hail down a cab we're not, um, we're not two blocks into the ride when I say, boy, the traffic is bit horrible today because Biden's in town. Oh, and, yeah. and I mean, you could not move anywhere. I mean, there were barriers everywhere. I mean, and I'm not in the part of town where the UN is or anything like that. I'm uptown already. I'm like at 79th Street, something like that, 72nd Street. So, uh, 79th. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh, the guy says, yeah, well, I can't stand Biden. He's horrible. I no. said, well, who'd you vote for? And he said, oh, I voted for Trump. I said, but Trump's a crook. 
And then we okay. got into this discussion back and oh, forth. I wish I and he said, me. and by the way, while you're at it, I was glad they attacked the Capitol. It's just too bad they didn't kill Nancy Pelosi. Oh, oh my God. And this guy didn't get a tip, I no, think. No, wait a minute. That's, what I, that's immediately what I'm thinking. Like, what kind of tip do you get for this? So I start talking to him some more, and then he tells me how he, was, he came from Israel, and he was a general in the Israeli army and was responsible for the death of of a thousand Palestinians, oh, right? And he keeps going on with this and about how, how Nancy Pelosi's husband is in the mafia. He said, he's Jewish, <laughs> you know? I said, I know the family, he's not mafia, you know? He kept going, I couldn't believe what he was saying to me. And uh, then I said to him, Let's not talk about this anymore because, quite frankly, it's upsetting me. And he says, okay. So we start talking about other stuff. We get to the end of the ride, and now comes the big moral dilemma I have. What's the tip going to be? Right. Now, if you don't leave a tip, that doesn't say anything. He can just say, what a cheap bastard. By the way, this guy was Israeli, okay? So... I couldn't call him. He couldn't call me a cheap Jew. I guess I. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the rules are with that. But <laughs> you know, I, I didn't go to the meeting. Uh, <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know, I'm, this moral dilemma. I mean, if I leave this guy nothing, he's going to get say I'm cheap. And if I give him the complete amount, I'm going to be bothered. What if I give him a dollar? Well, that's not good. You know what I finally did? No. I gave him fifteen percent. I thought to myself, this ride was worth the entertainment I got. <laughs> and the fact that I was going to be able to tell this story today. Okay. Yeah. But I couldn't believe this guy. Uh, too bad they didn't kill Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> They're still there. Huh? They're still there. Yeah, well, I mean, this guy. Well, did you, did you see uh, Jimmy Kimmel? Did you see Mike Lindell in the claw machine last <laughs> yes, night? Yeah, yes. I <laughs> That was hilarious, and the guy is actually still believes that. The you, you know something? Are... He Lindell is so so. How can I put it? He's bent. So bent that he he's that bent. I kind of like him. I know he's he, entertaining. He's kind of likable. He's you know, entertaining. Because, yes. And that, the fake guy, the the fake Lindell came he's out there too. Yeah, so they I, were both there. They're both there. Yeah, I, it was fun of him to bring out the Mike, uh, fake Lindell, but I would have only done it for like a minute. Yeah, he was there a little bit too long. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I, I enjoyed Lindell. But Lindell goes along with it. Yeah, yeah, fact, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I mean, <laughs> I I think I think maybe there's something to, uh, to recommend him. I don't know what it is exactly, but he... He certainly has a certain level of entertainment, and uh, well, Jimmy can throw shit at him, and he just takes it. You know, it's like the whole thing with the election of the RNC, and he goes, "And you got four votes. Do you think that was fixed?" He said, "Oh no, it, they did it with paper." Yeah, it was on paper. No, it, it, it was fine. <laughs> Yeah, and every now and then he's in the claw machine. A kid would come along and put some quarters in there or something and try to use the claw machine. And yeah, he yeah. takes toys and throws them down the chute. Shove a, <laughs> shove a toy in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I thought I, uh, you know, I, I, I thought a little more of Lindell after that because just because he'd do it, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, I, I, I don't think he's that desperate for publicity, <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, he, he, came, he came across a lot more likable after doing that. Than the, yeah. uh, under normal conditions, but he's a fruitcake. He's an absolute yeah. nutball. He is. I don't know how he can own a business like that, or well, he does. Believe me, he ain't gonna own it for much longer. No. <laughs> like... Hey, you know something? He's the sheets. <laughs> We've run out of time here. Hear the music? Isn't that beautiful music? Hey, listen, beautiful Jeff, music. are you leaving tomorrow? Going down to Florida? Uh, probably. Uh... Friday or Saturday? Okay. okay. Pick up Charlie on the way. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Also, uh, thank you, oh, Charlie. Man, uh, we just cool. hope that tomorrow we see you in your full glory and the electricity's back on. But don't count on it. 
but just be glad because maybe maybe Abbott's wheelchair isn't working either. So you know, just think of the money you're saving. <laughs> yeah, think of the money you're saving. Exactly. You're not you're gonna get two months or three week, uh, three days or four days of no no bill. You know. On that. Yeah. Right. Whatever. That never works. Anyway, Brian, thank you and thank you, Alan. Thank you very much, Kevin. I appreciate it. And uh, of course, uh, of the ever talkative. Tony. Some nights he doesn't say anything. Other nights you can't shut him up. Anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. Uh, and uh, I, I, Charlie's a real trooper, too. I have to say that. Anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. By the way, if you see her, you know, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Good night. <laughs>